Okay, so welcome to another Star Mage tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the client again, and um, this time what I wanted to do was actually look at the universe and where the data is and what's going on with that. So if we go into the Star Made folder, which is where it's installed, you'll know because you'll be able to see blueprints and all the rest. Um, when you want to back up your entire, I, I would back up this entire folder here. Whenever you do an upgrade, so I'll show you with an old installation quickly. Whenever you do an upgrade of Star Made, you'll notice that there'll be a bunch of these zip files. Now where are we? And it's because it's actually zipped up your old install. Of course I've been deleting them because I don't need them. <laughs> See if I can actually find one, that'd be great. There we go, right. So, as you can see here, um, we've got a couple of these. Now, if you look at the file name, you'll notice that it is a previous build. So, going backwards, we've got various backups. So, if, if an install goes wrong, say you do an update on your client, and something went wrong, okay, when you try to run it, it won't run for whatever reason. You can go back. So if we click on the, uh, I'm going to ignore this one because I'm going to ignore. I'm just going to ignore that one. This one actually has a version number and a build number on it. So I'm going to copy this. And as you can see, we've got Star Made there. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder and call it Old Version. You can call it whatever you want. Then I'm going to paste it here. I'm then going to extract this here. And you'll notice that it's folder star made. Okay. The only thing it doesn't have is the launcher. And I have had it before where the launcher can be too new. But it's rare. You'd have to be a really old backup. It's not going to happen next day. If you were current yesterday and you updated today and something went wrong, you will be able to use the launcher to update, to, sorry, to do this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the StarMade Starter Launcher from my current installation, which we've been working with all this time, here, to the old version, which is just here. Okay, and all I've done is literally copy in my backup, unzip it, and then copy the launcher in there. So I've got a way to actually run this old install. As you can see, this is an old install. We've got screenshots in here and everything. So I'm going to double click it. It's going to ask me to update and install because obviously the launcher is going to see that the launcher is the current version. But the game that I'm running it, f you know, the installation it's running on is not. And uh, we, we want to run our old installation, so actually we're going to say no to that. So the current version it says 9396. Um, uh, and obviously we're on 9398. So we're going to hit start. Okay, and then we've got the address. And just go on local for now. And there we go. And that's loading up 9396 build 0914. It's not actually that old, to be honest. It's only like a week or so old. But the point is, that's how you run your old install if something goes wrong. Okay? And you'll notice that whenever you update, it'll save something like this inside your standard install folder in here somewhere. You'll find zip folders. It's also a reason why your game install will get so big. If you've been playing for four months and you didn't know about this, you'll probably find about three or four gigabytes of backup files just sat here. So you only need the last one. You don't need to roll all the way back to builds that nobody's running anymore. You only need the last one. Um, occasionally there'll be some issue, like recently there was a docking bug, um, which by the way is resolved in a number of ways, but um, you, you would have to actually take uh, well, what we were doing was we were running the last stable build um, because it was, like I say, um, we knew it was getting fixed. It's only a matter of time. So just stick with the build that works for you. 
you know don't get too ragey if something doesn't work after an update because you can just roll back it's no big deal plus if something is really broken it will get fixed because you won't be the only person complaining uh, that's the best thing about this sort of uh, this sort of alpha okay so thanks for watching again I hope that explains how you can uh, restore your old backup if something goes wrong with an update or if you've just messed something up some other way this is a good way of getting back up and running without having to start again so thanks again for watching and please make sure to check out the next tutorial coming up soon <laughs>